Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my craft table. This is um, going to be a canister for ground coffee. Normally I use whole beans and grind them fresh, but I happen to have um, a small supply of ground coffee and I need to have it in a nice place so that it stays fresh. And I thought I would go ahead and um, make this canister um, the the OXO or OXO canisters that are so popular, thought I would go ahead and um, decorate that with a little cute coffee label. Got this Buff vinyl here. This is from Expressions Vinyl and it is their Series 51 Permanent. I actually really like this company and I am hoping to start getting more from them. We have our tools that are handy and really important I'll be using a bigger piece of transfer tape. Um, for the coffee and then of course the rubbing alcohol to clean off these surfaces because we want to make sure that our vinyl has a nice clean surface to adhere to. Green standard grip cutting mat and the Cricut Make It Cricut Maker 3 is what we'll be using today. All right, let's head to Design Space and we will get going. I'm in Cricut Design Space. What I want to do is go to Shapes and I'm going to grab a square we're going to go ahead and leave it dark to represent coffee grounds and then actually let's change it to really dark brown. Let's do that. That'll really look, it'll look like coffee grounds. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so the, the space on the canister that I have to work with is about two and a half wide and then I can really go as tall as about four. The, this is going to represent the surface of the canister and this will not get cut or um, used for anything. We'll just hide that in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and lock that and a little bit out of the way. I'm going to go over here to images and I'm going to do browse all images and I actually have already bookmarked them. I just did a search for coffee and I found this cute little coffee cup right here and this little sign here. It looks like it belongs in a cafe. So I'm going to select the coffee cup and the sign and I'm going, you can see them down here in my queue and I'm going to add to canvas. Now this is going to become um, like this buff color. In fact, it's probably a little bit too yellowy. There we go. That's a little better. And that's going to be here like this on my, on my coffee. And then I can just select here, the line and center. So this is what the canister will with the coffee grinds behind my vinyl. Again, the dark brown will not be uh, cut, which just for visual purposes. Now I want to move this over. So I'm going to replace the O in coffee with this coffee mug. This coffee mug here, I'm going to resize it down. Then I'm going to come and hover outside of one of the corners and turn it 180 degrees. So it'll look like this. Okay, we'll resize that a little bit more in just a moment. The next thing I want to do is I want to grab a circle. Actually, nope, I don't want to grab a circle. I want to grab an oval. Okay, I'm going to go turn that a little bit, size that. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to get rid of the O in coffee. I'm going to move this so that it covers the O completely. So that is definitely gone. I'm going to select that oval shape and the coffee image and I'm going to come down here into the bottom of the layers panel and I'm going to hit slice. Once I hit slice, we're going to get a slice result. So you would have this layer, this layer, this layer. I do not want any of these, so I'm going to get rid of these. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this coffee mug here. That is it's way too big, but that's okay. We're going to resize that. I'm going to go ahead and blow up my canvas so I can see this really, really nicely. Now with this coffee mug that has been selected, I am going to resize it down so that it is a little bit of a buffer of space. Okay, I don't want to go too, too small. And then I'm going to move it up. 
in such a way that it looks like it is centered in the C. And so okay. going by my own vision, and I think that looks really good actually. So that coffee mug, I got, it is also going to be cut out of the same buff vinyl that I have for the sign. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach all of that. This is now one image, okay? Um, it is a couple of layers, but it is one image. Then I'm going to bring this back over just so we can see that when we fill our canister with the coffee grinds, it will look like this. I think that is so cute. I just love it. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and hide that. Do not want to see it. And I don't, I definitely don't want to cut it. The next thing is I'm going to go over to make and make sure that my design is going to cut out exactly the way I want. And this looks great. We are going to have that on a mat. We're going to, it's going to be 12 by 12 and we do not need to mirror because we are not using the iron on vinyl. The next thing I'm going to do is click continue. And the software will look for my maker premium Actually, this time it's premium glossy vinyl, and I'm going to do more. So I have premium vinyl glossy, and then more pressure, and I have everything loaded. So let's go over to the um, overhead camera and put our mat together and get it out. Okay, so here we are with the, we have the buff vinyl. I'm gonna remove this again. It's important to keep your mats clean. And I am going to put my vinyl up here in this top corner, grab my brayer, and we're going to get this down nice and snug on the mat. Okay. I'm going to open up the Maker. I love this Maker 3, okay. so I will load. The very first thing is that the machine will go ahead and measure the size of my mat and vinyl, make sure I have everything in order to cut out the design that we have designed. When it is ready, the play button will flash and we'll hit play. Okay, so everything is all cut out and before I unload it, I do like to make sure visually and usually by feel, it's really, you can feel all of the design for the most part if you can't see all of it. So I do like to double check that it has um, at least appeared to cut it out properly. Unload the mat and here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And now when I take the vinyl, off of the mat. I actually want to pull the mat away from the vinyl itself, leaving the vinyl pretty flat. The mat is very bendable. I think that I'm going to, instead of working with this ginormous sheet, I'm going to cut out as close to possible. And this is where a really good paper trimmer would come in handy, but mine is at school. So we are going to just use scissors. Move that out of the way. Here's our parchment paper, which I don't need anymore. All right. There we go. Okay, so next we have this canister. I love these canisters. My husband and I bought several at Costco last year. I think we need to buy some every time they have them, especially if they have them on special because they are just the best. Okay, I'm gonna put that over there. Now this weeding will go a lot easier because we're going to grab the corner, pull that off, and get that all good. And then I'm just gonna go through and I'm going to pull up this inner, And oh, look at that, it's like butter. I really like this um, 
vinyl. They also carry that oracle, which I may try, but this so far is really good. All right, and then let's see. We are going to leave the cup itself and pull this rim off. We don't need that. And then our little coffee bubbles. Now, I could, if I wanted to, just move these little coffee bubbles over here. I totally don't have to do that. But they are kind of cute. You know? So, okay. All right, actually, I kind of like that. I don't know, maybe we'll bring this down just, just a little bit. Okay, that's kind of cute. I can always take that off, not a big deal. All right, so the next thing is, I do not need a ginormous piece of transfer tape, but I really hate to undo this one, so. I am going to, and I'm going to line up. Yeah. All right, so anytime you have a, a big piece of transfer tape that you need to use on something ginormous, um, I don't really need it for this one, but I just will usually um, put it here on the edge and then be able to pull back with like this little handle. But I'm going to leave it intact, and I'm just going to use the amount that I need and that way I don't have to cut a nice size All right, because this will work. All right, we've got the front, the front burnish. We're going to turn it over and we're going to do the back. Make sure that it's burnished really nicely. Okay, now we are going to take off this carrier sheet. Oh good, that looks amazing. Okay, bring this in here, place it down. Alright, I'm actually going to use, I know that you guys can't really see it, but the top of that black box that's inside I'm going to make it level with my um, canister, and this black bottom one will be level. And then I can come in here, and let's see. I think we got little bit of a curved surface, just slightly, in around the perimeter. Okay. Oh goodness, I think this is going to look so good. I'm so excited. I love putting labels on things, and my classroom has lots of labels, but now I can have fun labels. Alright, very nice. I'm just going to peel up this side over here, get that started, and very gently I will pull up this transfer tape and then put it back down on the on its own carrier sheet because it will definitely still have some use. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. This is amazing. This makes me happy. I love coffee so much. I could drink coffee all day. I have a coffee pot in my classroom. Well, a Keurig. I have a coffee pot here. Okay, so see, that's still usable next time. Carrier sheet from the vinyl can go in the trash. We're good to go. So we've got our coffee. I'm going to go put those grinds in it right now. I hope that I have inspired you to take a look around and see how you can add some fun to your um, your home decor, your organization, um, just personalizing little things here and there. 
go ahead and um, look around and see what you can do. Feel free to like uh, this video and follow us if you would like a little bit more inspiration and I hope that you have a wonderful day and make it a good one. Happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.